This screencast will illustrate some basic commands window functions. Now I'm already in clan with my commands window open. If you're in clan and you don't see the commands window, you can always go up to the menu to windows and select commands or type command D on your keyboard. I'll be using a file called sample.chat which you can find at talkbank.org slash examples. For this screencast, I've downloaded that file, sample.chat, and put it in a folder called examples in clan. Older versions of clan may still have an examples folder with this file already in it, but newer versions won't. You can download any of these examples materials from this address and put them anywhere you want to on your computer. Now I'll set my working directory to the examples folder in the clan program by clicking on the working button and then navigating to applications, clan, and double clicking on the examples folder. So now we see that the working directory is set to where the files are that we want to work on. One tip, you can double click on this material to the right of the working button to see recent directories that you've worked in and then you can double click on one of those if you want to use it again. Now this More Lib button should always be set to where the More Grammar folder is located. Mine is on the desktop in the More folder and it's for English. The easiest way to get the More Grammar folder is to go to the clan menu to File and select Get More Grammar and select the language that you want. Now I'll type a command in the command window here to do a frequency analysis of a file in the examples folder. So I'll type the command frec space and then the name of the chat file we want to analyze, sample.chat. And I'll hit return or you could click run and here we see a frequency listing of the words in that file. Starting with the mother, and then the child, who for example used the word mommy once, the word chalk twice, six different words, eight total words, and a type token ratio of 0.75. Okay, I'll close that and show you some more things about the commands window. With your cursor in the commands window here, you can use the up arrow on your keyboard to see previous commands that you've used. So you can run through the series of commands forward with the up arrow or backward with the back arrow to see commands that you've used in the past and may want to use again. You can also press the recall button on the commands window to see a full list of previous commands. And again, you can double click on any of those to run them again. This question mark button will open up two help files that provide information about commands and their functions. These are general clan analysis programs, clan programs for morphosyntactic coding, and so on. This gives more information about commands and their functions. And you can always type a clan command in the command window and then hit return or click run to get basic information about that command and about options for that command. So let's type frec in the commands window and then return and you see various options or switches you can add to the command to customize it for your needs. You could add plus C to find capitalized words only. You can add plus O to sort the output by descending frequency. You can add plus D in a number of different varieties for different kinds of outputs, for example to spreadsheets, just type token information, and so on.